I went to one of those parties on Watt Avenue when I was maybe 15 years old. I don't even know if I'd hit puberty yet. And I get there, this little suburban white kid, and an older guy I know took me saying, like, hey, I heard there's going to be chicks. We get there. All these hood-ass dudes repping gang bandanas are almost coming to blows, and a mediator has to get up on a chair and give some version of the following speech. Hey, everybody, you need to settle that shit down, because tonight, I don't care if you red or if you blue, let's fucking party, man. And, and, the end of one. and I was like, where the fuck am I? And what? can my dad pick me up and take me home? Did it work, though? I did not see a gang fight for the rest of the night. Then that man is a goddamn charismatic <laughs> monster. That it must be acknowledged. He stopped a gang a gang war in the spirit. I can of see Evan do it. I can see Evan doing a move like that. <laughs> no red, but we're purple tonight. Everybody, <laughs> we're joining our shit together, Wait, so bitches. There was, there was a lot of black dudes on the outskirts of SAC. Shocking. This this I remember being more Hispanic okay. and ghetto white. And this wasn't really, but he probably still used the N word because ghetto white dudes and yeah. ghetto Hispanic dudes use the N word. Ghetto white dudes are the most, in my opinion, the, the, what I fear the most. If I'm at a party in the outskirts of anywhere, ghetto white dudes yeah. are the ones that I think are risking it all. More they have for, something to prove. They have something to prove. They're like, you want to test my gangster? You want yeah. to test? Yeah, it's not. I told I told a story on my Patreon live recently about me getting in a fight with <clears throat> a five foot five ghetto white dude with an Oakland Raiders hat at a party because I went up to him and we were taking shots on the counter. I put my arm around him like, what's up, dude? You're the man. And he pushed me off. He's like, I ain't gay dog. I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. And it turned, and I couldn't believe how shitty he was being. So I just kept laying into him until we went out back. And what happened was it was a no, it was a lawn, and I did jujitsu at that time. So I just kept taking him down and getting him in the most compromising positions possible. <laughs> Full back control, hooks in, him flattened out on his stomach on the lawn like he was about to get raped. No <laughs> recourse, no way to get up with me just wailing on the back of his skull with my fists. But then his buddies would keep stepping in and breaking it up and resetting us until finally... All of my buddies who were there, which they they occupied the championship Casa Roble football team. Oh, oh wow. Shit. There was one year where Casa Roble football made it all the way to the championship. Damn, that. the state oh, championship? Something yeah. big. Something wow. big. I had to beat BB to do it. I remember that shit. It yeah. was 08, yeah. yeah. and they were giant. These were all the kids that eventually went off to die in Iraq. <laughs> Really? On the O line, juice to the gills. They were all on juice and cast. I swear to God. White dudes, big white dudes. And they just finally got sick of these fucking like thin mustached ghetto white kids breaking up the fight. And Zach Hackett, I think he was the running back on the team, just picks up one of the random spectators, lifts him above his head, and slams him into the roots of a fucking mulberry tree. Oh my god. All hell breaks loose. Those guys got the shit beat out of him. Like I was having fun with my guy. In the one-on-one circumstance, was but then he, it turned into a gang brawl, and those your guys fight got was skill whacked. based. And what people don't seem to understand is skill is impressive, and it will always hedge your bets in any one-on-one. But at some point, raw power mm-hmm. is a shocking trump card. Totally. None of those guys were taking jujitsu; they no. were just football players who were all testosterone up. And like, I'm oh, not yeah. gonna fight you. I'm gonna Aggressive pick you up dudes. over my head yes, and no. slam you into something, and yes. it's gonna. In the fight immediately. Oh, yes. So God. I have a lot of respect for the fact that you got good. You learned a skill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also, if a big enough guy just grabs you mm-hmm. and lifts you over his head, yeah. like you could really try your hardest. But if you had to try to take Shaq down, yeah. Shaq has no fighting skill at all. But uh-huh. if you just got a hold of you, just squeezed, uh-huh. it'd probably end it very quickly. It, it's like um, <laughs> it's like I'm the guy who worked my whole life writing scripts to get into Hollywood, and I got this great screenplay idea. But the studio chooses some other dude because he went to USC, and his dad works at DreamWorks. Yeah, it's, it's actually like another girl of- who's a lesbian, and uh, she probably has a nice story with a lot of minorities in it. They'd pick her before your story. There you go. Now, that's the new nepotism. Yeah, is, that's, yeah that's, but, um, hey, that's Dis- favoritism, not nepotism. But Disney, as you said, has stepped back from the culture war. They're so stepping back, baby. I think LGBTQ so Disney, plus IA no, twin spirit script. Disney by- just made the freaking black-ass Little Mary. What are you talking about? They well, just announced, though, they that just they're going to step back from the yeah, culture Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to stop the culture wars is what they said. Oh, that, so. like the, 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 um, yeah, you know, making everything woke. You know, yeah. yeah. They're making everything, like, putting in, changing they, the stories, they, per they se. They turned Robin Williams into Will Smith. Yeah. Okay, that's... Yeah. <laughs> I don't Something know if like you that. saw exactly, Aladdin, yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Exactly, yeah. Exactly.